experience. Wait for the uh, mic, please. I had an experience with Graham last night that's quite a frequent recurrence in our relationship. Yep. I'd like to expose it because I, I think I I think I just come to the realization of what it is. Yep. Graham says to me at times that he doesn't hear me speaking. Yep. And that it's coming from a different place within me. Yes. Yet when I speak. It feels like me. It sounds like me to me. Yep. <laughs> but he says it's not me. Yes. In those moments, I hate him. Yep. I don't want to be with him. Yep. I can't see any good in him. Totally opposite to what happens. To what you normally feel for. When it kind of withdraws. But yep. I didn't understand the withdrawal until you were just talking about that. Yep. Now, I had a conversation... So, do you, can I ask you, though, now, you know what's happening now? What's happening? I think I have this... No, I don't think... I know I have an unresolved relationship with my mother. Yep. Now, I'm not sure whether it, that this is my mother who is actually doing this or whether there are other spirit influences. Yeah, there's both. But Graham says to me that he can't hear me, and in those moments, it feels like me. Yep. To me, it sounds like me. I'm, I'm like working the bilio to process as many emotions as comes up yep. with diligence and commitment, <coughs> yep. is the word. Yep. But yet, there are frequent incidences where I just don't want to ever see Graham again. Alright, one emotion that you have still within you is anger towards men. You know that, don't you? That emotion is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not saying you're not dealing with it, because I know you are. But that emotion, okay, that emotion of rage is within you towards men. Okay. Yep. And you know what it's linked to, we've talked a bit about it, like in terms of what your dad's done and so forth, and how men have affected you in the past because of that. So that, that anger and rage towards men is a doorway that spirits can now use to manipulate you. <coughs> What's actually happening for you, Jen, is that there's a number, there's a few unresolved emotions still within, and because you are highly mediumistic, sometimes you don't even, can't even tell the difference when you're influenced and when you're not influenced. That's exactly what I was talking to James about in the break. Yep. And, and that's that one thing. It's like I'm out of the way and the spirit just speaks. See, yep. right now I cannot tell you whether this is me, Jennifer, communicating with you or whether this is the spirit speaking through me. No, I, I know when I'm getting either. I know you now are speaking to me. And the Graham is very sensitive to you. He will know too. I know it's you speaking to me. When you wrote this letter you wrote to me, Jen wrote a letter to me a few days ago, I gather, um, about, yes, no. about your friend. Yes. That's not you. That isn't me. You didn't write any of that. Okay. That was a Mormon spirit in the spirit world who wrote that. So is that still, am I still responsible for that if that spirit speaks through me? You're responsible for the fact that there's a law of attraction going on between you and some Mormon spirits who would cause you to write that. And all you're responsible for is the emotion that allows you to not see it, if that makes sense. So in other words, there's an emotion, there's an emotion in you, unresolved, about your religious life. Okay? They are connecting you, these Mormon spirits, which cause you to write that, are connecting to you through that unresolved emotion about religion. Does that make sense? In the case of sexual things, in this case of the anger with men, there's some women spirits with you that are very, very angry with men. And this anger with men, they're with you, and, we, and they trigger your own anger with men. And then they join in on the anger and the rage through you. Does that make sense? So what Graham's getting is not just you anymore. He's getting you and a few spirits projecting all this stuff with you. Does that make sense? Well, it isn't funny. It it's isn't not, funny. It's not it's funny. It's terrible. Now. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's really terrible and it's damaging. And I'm getting to the point where my question during the break to James was about personal responsibility. I asked myself, am I doing enough? Am I doing enough? 
Jen, I feel you are doing enough to deal with your emotion. So you are doing really well dealing with your emotion. Thank you for saying that. However. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Yeah, the key is that there are, there are always unresolved emotions within us until we're at one with God. Does that make sense? So there is some unresolved emotions in you. And in all of us, there are unresolved emotions. And spirits can connect through the unresolved emotions in order to influence us and our behavior. Now, the thing we need to do is own the emotion. When we choose to not own the emotion, that's when they can use us to damage others. So, for example, you're angry with men. One of the things you often say to me is, oh, I don't feel that so much anymore. But I, I can feel that strongly from you, and Graham gets a fair bit of it from you at times, right? So he knows it's there. You're angry with men. But you still have this desire to deny that emotion. And it's the desire to deny that emotion that allows these spirits to connect through you and then project a heap of anger at a man who's right next to you. Does that make sense? Now, if you were owning the underlying emotion, which is the grieving emotion about how men have treated you, you would never get into the anger with men, which would never then allow these spirits to actually connect into this anger and then manipulate this anger. To actually get to that rage is terrifying. Mm. Well, you don't want it. I'm saying you don't want to get to the rage. Right? In your case, you don't need to get to the rage. The rage is what came after another emotion, the grief, the terrible feelings of shame and guilt and grief that you feel about your father molesting you. These are the emotions that you need to allow yourself to connect to. When you don't allow yourself to connect to those emotions, you will connect to this emotion. And when you connect to that emotion in an unresponsible way, when I say unresponsible, instead of owning it and going out and bashing a bag or something, what you're wanting to do in that particular instance is you want to harm a man. Right? Many of you ladies who have been abused will feel this way. You want the man to pay. Right? You want the man to pay for the damage that's been done to you. Right? Now, now often you, even, you don't care which man even. Many of you don't care which man. As long as a man pays, it doesn't even matter which man. And this is how many of these spirits feel too. Many of, particularly the female spirits who have passed, who have been abused too. They just want a man to pay. They don't care which man. They know that Graham's never done anything to cause you harm, but they don't care about that. He's a man. They just want him to pay. Right? And so what they do is they connect through this anger, this feeling of punishment, the desire for punishment that you have towards a male that's still within you. They connect to that and heighten that emotion to, to show you, in fact, that you have the emotion. Right? But often what we say is, oh, it's not my fault, it's the Spirit's fault. I don't have that emotion. But the law of attraction is showing you that you have that emotion. So if you own the emotion and then go deeper into the emotion and express this rage and anger even without there being a person involved, all the power of the interaction for the spirit goes. They, they no longer feel powerful because you're not hammering a man anymore. You're just hammering a bag, which isn't a man. And they're not, they're not satisfied with that. So they'll go and find another woman who will hammer a man instead. Does that make sense? Okay, so... I accept what you've said to me and the responsibility of it. All I've got to do is at the moment, but it's a start. Yep. But I have two male children, one of which is in the room. Yep. If I, I'm from childhood in deep, deep rage. Yep. And sad. I know when I prayed for, for a child that I prayed never to have girls and I ended up with two boys, but yet you are, are confronting me, I am feeling yep. my hatred for men, yet I have four mm. children. Yep. And the boys, all through their life, would have felt like that emotion from you. So, you know, you know, don't you, that mum's yeah, in this anger with mum's rage. Yeah, mum's rage it's with them. Just, it's, 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 yeah, so what the dove? What they've learnt to do is just detune themselves from your rage with men. That's what they've learnt to do over a period of time. My but other boy, Nicholas, is furiously angry all the time. 
Well, he will be, because he, the rage projected at him from the moment he was conceived was unfair. And that's the feeling he feels, this deep feeling of unfairness. And both of your sons feel the deep feeling of unfairness when you get into a rage. So tell me, if I go away and feel this emotion, will that help them too? Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. very much so. They're not gone. <laughs> Um, I'm going to finish answering your question though, Jen, to everyone else, if that's right. And you can hear it later. That's great. That's great. Isn't she wonderful? And that's the reason why Jen's progressing so rapidly. Because she just allows herself to feel this rage she feels with men and just connects to her straight away. She doesn't put it off, doesn't wait for anything, doesn't wait for it to be ideal circumstances, nothing. She just goes straight into it. And to be honest, the person who does that is going to be very, very, you know, they're going to progress in a very, very fast rate. But in terms of answering the rest of the question, because some days you'll look back at this tape and want to know the rest of the answer. <laughs> These uh, women in particular that are surrounding her who are getting angry are connecting through her because her anger, and there's quite a few of them now, um, it's so fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations, girls. Um, we've had four or five, just for the tape, we've had four or five uh, women leave just now because of Jen's beautiful example. All right, so as these angry women connect to you through this anger, what they do is they can now manipulate you. So if you're in a state where you want to punish a male for the anger you feel, what they will do is they'll, they'll want to raise this anger while you're in front of a male. Does that make yes. sense? Yes. So while you're there right in front of a man, what will happen is they'll just want to raise this anger in that, in that state with you. Because they, the thing they get out of that is that they are now hurting a male, and that's what they want. Yeah. Does that make sense? So for them, it's like fantastic that you're now hurting a man, and they're going to influence you to do that as powerfully as you can in that particular instance. By the way, this applies for men with women problems as well, as much as women with men. If I can just keep going for a bit first. What then happens is, because of this desire to punish that's within you, punishing the other, and by the way, a desire to punish is actually a desire to run away from the underlying grief you feel. So that's so in the end, there's a desire to get away from an emotion inside of yourself that causes a desire to punish. So if I desire to punish a male, what actually so if I'm one desiring to punish a man, I've got all this unresolved anger towards man. Any woman in the spirit world who was also in the same condition will connect through me, and they will express their anger through me while I'm expressing my anger and they will heighten the experience. And the law of attraction is working perfectly because in that instance, what's going on is that I am being shown, if I'm the woman, I am being shown in that instance that I have deep rage and anger with men. Right? If I allow myself to see that. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the mumbo jumbo that occurs in the new age <coughs> stuff sometimes, and a lot of the other beliefs that we may have, Say, oh, I've just got bad energy with me. Oh, all I've got to do is wipe myself clean, protect myself from that, and I'm right, sort of thing. None of that really is dealing with the underlying causal emotion. Right? The underlying causal emotion that causes this attraction in the first place is my deep rage with men and a deep desire to punish a man for what a man has done to me. And so the woman, the women spirits who are in the same condition, connect through me and connect through my emotion. And they will usually do it in front of the man, and I just dump a heap of verbal abuse on the man. Now, usually, interestingly enough, they will not choose to help you do it when you're with a man who might belt you back. Interestingly, what they will do, generally, is they will choose to do it with a man who will take it yeah. without doing anything back. Why that? Well, because if the man did something back, you would be hurt, and if you're hurt, then that takes away their power. They're no longer experiencing yeah. power over the man, they're now experiencing the man being powerful over them, which is their trigger of emotion. Wouldn't they just disengage? But that's what the spirit would disengage, certainly. As soon as they felt that, they would disengage. 
So they are going to cause you to do it with men who will take it or with men who are in a better state of love than one will bop you in the nose. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's what they cause you to do. Now, the problem with that is those kind of men generally are the kinds of men you want in your life and you'll finish up, you know, harming the kind of men that are nice and in the end, you're not having a man in your life, which is in fact what these women in the spirit world believe you should have. You follow me? So they're getting exactly what they want in this situation and they're working through your own unresolved rage and anger to get into that. Now, how to undo all of that? It's quite simple. Under the anger is really, really painful grief about something a man has done to you or something a man has, men have done to women. It may be a multi-generational error of what men have done to women over history. And that's now within you, emotionally. And if you connect to that emotion, these spirits can no longer influence you at all. They can't have any effect whatsoever on you. Now let's reverse all of that and let's say this is a man now. Because it's, it's just as applicable for a man as it is with a woman. So I'm now a male on earth and I've got a lot of men spirits who have a belief that women are just to be used for sex. And I have the same belief inside of me, really. I try not to act upon it, but I just have this same feeling inside of me that in the end, women are lesser than a man and, and I can just use them. These men will now heighten that emotion, connect through me and set up sexual transactions where I can abuse women or that I treat women as if they're worthless. And these men will do that over and over and over again until I face the fact that I have that emotion within me that I need to deal with. Gee, the girls are doing so good at it. <laughs> the other, a few weeks ago, we had a few people out there our place and one day Millie took, took quite a number of them out to do some anger work. And there was like scream after scream after scream <laughs> coming from different places in, the, in our property. And, uh, and I don't know what the next door neighbours think, like, because <laughs> I hear this scream echoing up the valley. You know, but it's really good to see people connect emotionally to their rage like that. Hi, Jack. 